greatest passion in life has been surfing, especially big waves. And I've been surfing for 62 years. Even from the age of 10, I was chasing the biggest rideable waves on Port Phillip Bay. Chasing the biggest storms imaginable, right through winter, board shorts and singlet. I'm not the most talented surfer, but I've worked so hard on my fitness and strength. And my desire to paddle over that ledge into a big wave is as fierce as any. And that makes the difference because many a good surfer just doesn't want to paddle over that ledge. If you have the confidence in yourself and the strength and the fitness to deal with whatever you're facing, I don't think there's any reason for fear. People have often asked me how long can I keep doing this and back in my early 40s when I was interviewed by magazines, I would say to them, you know, I don't set a limit. You know, I look after each day, I look after today, tomorrow looks after itself. The other thing that I think was essential was the incredible support of my parents. Everything I did, they were 100% behind me. And it's enabled me to pursue my ideal life. And that is to simply have a lovely bush home on the coast and be able to surf when I want to, have a business that enables me to do so. People say that I should just kick back and take it easy and be satisfied with what I've achieved, but I need the adrenaline rush, I love it. Uh, there's nothing like that feeling of dropping down a big wave, charging down the face and the speed, the wind in your hair, and it's, it's just an incredible feeling, nothing like it. I've always had the philosophy that if I'm not passionate about it, I don't want to do it. It's that simple. And I think that that's what drives me in everything I do in life. And I think that's the key to longevity, uh, to being a little bit smart, leave your ego behind. I didn't reinvent myself, I dug deeper. It's that simple, I just dug deeper. So when they say, why don't I move on to calmer waters? I say, where's the challenge in that?